Okay, I hope you don't mind that I have my wrap blanket because it is rather chilly today. Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Ashley and this is Faith Rato. As behind me, I have Fester taking a drink. So I hope you don't mind, but most people who watch this video will probably be very used to this noise by now. So as you can tell from the title, this video is about socializing rats and the methods that I used in particular when I was socializing a rat that I got that was called Pullman. Was, still is called Pullman and I still have him. So I'll give you a little background on Pullman, where I got him from and why his behavior was a problem. And then I'll go into the methods that I used to help him and why I think they're helpful and why, is, why I chose those methods over other methods. So Pullman and Perii came to us in July of 2021 and they were around five months old when we got them. They came from another family who wasn't able to look after them because they weren't able to handle them. Now this is a key part into why Pullman and Perii by extension were having some behavioral issues. They were not handled by their previous homes, I think probably because they nipped and then that caused the children of that family to be scared to handle them and then that just became a cyclical process that the children of the family were scared to handle them and so they became more scared and that just big, made a bigger problem. When they dropped them off with us and I reached in confidently to pick them up from the carrier and put them into the cage, the family was very shocked and this told me that there was some work to be done with these boys and then about when they left I was just sitting by the cage and offering some malt paste off my hand that was when Pullman bit me and that's when I knew that I had some work to do at that point I was talking to some people on a discord server and one of these people told me that Pullman needed to be put to sleep because he was biting now this is a very American thing to suggest when it comes to rats and in almost all cases this is not at all what is necessary so the first thing that you need to do is you need to assess why are they biting are they biting because they have hormonal aggression are they biting because they're scared are they biting because they are unwell or injured and they're feeling horrible and so biting is their way of showing you that and once you've assessed what type of biting you're dealing with this is when you can decide which methods are best to resolve the issues that you have so if you want to know more about that the Sami rats has a brilliant video about assessing why your rat is biting is it out of fear is it hormonal aggression is it because there's an underlying health issue going on and that's very important because that will alter what methods you use for example if your rat is biting due to hormonal aggression it's likely that neutering or spaying that rat will help them out immensely if it's because of an injury or an illness, going to the vet and getting that treated will obviously solve that. But if it's out of fear, then you've got to work with that rat and show them that you are nothing to be scared of. And the two methods that I used to do this were the ratty role model, as the Sami rats calls it, and the confidence method. Now I use them in conjunction with each other because I feel that they both do lend themselves to help each other out. And I think the ratty role model method if it's possible it's one of the best things that you can do because obviously rats learn very much from each other and if they can see other rats not fearing you at all that's going to help them massively and you're going to be able to meet them halfway rather than having to go the whole distance which i think is very helpful and also a lot less stressful for the rats involved so the ratty role model is as simple as it sounds and that is finding rats or a rat that is confident and likes to be handled and likes to seek out attention from you and you intro them together preferably using the carrier method and once these rats are introed you interact with that confident rat and the nervous rat will see you're nothing to be scared of and after a period of time of being introduced with that confident rat they'll see for themselves that you're nothing to be feared and that they will start themselves seeking out your attention which is what you want you want them to want to come near you 
Now, when it comes to the actual handling and the actual, what some people would call taming methods, there are two that I think are both useful, but useful in different situations. You have the confidence method and you have the patience method. Now, these are quite opposite of each other. The, confident method, the confidence method is going straight in and going at your pace, and the patience method is going at the rat's pace. Now, the patience method can work, however, I feel there are some downsides to it, and that is that it takes much longer than the confidence method, and during that, you aren't really able to handle the rat and health check, and that's something that's really important to me, to be able to handle my rats very often, so I know if anything is happening with their health, or their wellness in any sort of way to see if I need to be taking them to the vet. And for me, rats being handleable, handleable is something that's very important. And so that means that I went for the confidence method. Now the confidence method is wonderful, but I wouldn't use it in one particular situation. And that is with a rat that is extremely stressed and goes through something called flooding when they're handled. And flooding is just a rat's way of showing you that they're completely overwhelmed and they they are completely still and they are not doing well at all and you really want to avoid flooding because flooding is very stressful and very stressful on the rat's body and so if you're finding that your rats are flooding very often when you're handling them then maybe the patience method is going to work better for you. I will link down below Asami Rats website and the places where you can look up the com confidence method and the patience method and Asami Rat's pros and cons on that but I chose to use the confidence method because I didn't see pulmon or period flooding very often and I found that if I turned away from the cage or walked away from the cage they were much calmer because I found that once they stopped trying to get back to the cage we could actually start the bonding process a lot better. Now the confidence method there are a couple of things that you have to make sure that you're doing in order to be doing it right. And this is without hesitation. When you're picking up the rats, you cannot hesitate. Being wishy-washy and going down to grab them and moving away, going down to grab them and moving away, that is going to cause tension in you and tension in the rats. What you want to do is to just scoop them up with two hands very quickly, very smoothly, very firmly so they feel confident in in that process, you don't want them to be flailing around. And you want to pick them up confidently and calmly and put them down. And you want to repeat that over 15 minutes or so, a couple of times a day for however long it takes. And I found that as they got more confident with that, you could hold them for longer periods of time, do pseudo health checks, give them treats, and then they will sort start to associate being held with being a neutral thing that they don't mind or being a positive thing that they can get treats with or they can get physical affection like strokes when they do get picked up. And then they'll start to change those associations from being picked up to being something bad, to being something good. And it's much quicker than you think. And I found that in conjunction with being introed into a calm and confident group, a group that wanted our attention, this helped Pullman immensely and now he is very very much handable the only time he bites is if he is very scared um, we were having a few behavioral issues with one of our other rats and so handling him after our other rat was being aggressive that would likely result in being bitten but that was because he had been reverted back to being scared and it was something that after we fixed the behavioral issue in the other rat doesn't happen anymore and the other thing is if you wake him up in his hammock and you offer him food on your finger he will snatch it and your finger obviously isn't food and so you get bitten but now he doesn't bite in the same way as he did before and when he does bite it's always our fault and not his and that's 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 it that's what you want and i think sometimes it is quite scary especially if you've been bitten often to go in and pick them up and i found for me personally i don't think for everyone this is the case but i found wearing a glove on the hand the main holding hand helped me <clears throat> with my confidence in picking him up and once that had 
helped me to gain my confidence and I knew that I was able to confidently pick him up, that's when I retired the glove. And the glove is nothing more than a confidence tool for yourself because the rats will pick up on you being stressed and you being nervous. So that's why you have to go in without hesitation. Be confident, be calm and be relaxed. Otherwise you'll pass on that tension to them. And that's obviously something that you don't want. So now I will insert some clips of Pullman being handled confidently and Pullman seeking out attention from us. Come on then. Buddy, you don't want to come, and, come on my shoulder. Hello. Hello. Oh, bye. See you later. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope it helped you. I will leave in the description all the places where I personally found help and advice and places that I researched and places that helped me. And that is all for this video. If you liked it, please give it a like and do comment down below your experience working with scared or stressed out rats. And please do subscribe. I will be doing more future videos. I have another rat cage review video coming out very soon. I've just asked for entries if you do want to enter all you need to do is send your cage and a little bit about how big your group is how old they are how old they are etc to this email address ashleyfaith.x.x at gmail.com i'll leave that in the description so don't worry and if you just email me pictures of your cage how many rats live there how old they are that sort of information and then i will add them into my video I'm very excited about doing that because it seemed out of all the videos I've done that was a very popular video so don't forget to subscribe to stick around so you can see that and if you do want your cage reacted to make sure to send it to that email address that's linked down below ashleyfaith.x.x at gmail.com and that is all from me there's a robin on my balcony and I'll see you later bye